Hey everybody, looks into swirl here. We are going to use up some paint today with another pour. Yay! We're going to do a comb over balloon kiss pour because it seems like fun. It's a beautiful day. Let's play with balloons and paint and comb overs. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm using a paint from a recent project. We have six different colors. Two cups of each color because we were comparing different pouring mediums. That's in a that's in a different video. And I am going to take these paints and I'm going to pour them. Uh, I guess that would be vertically <laughs> on this canvas. And then we're going to do a comb over swirly thing. And then we're going to do some balloon kisses and we're going to see what we end up with. So let's just do it. This is a 12 by 16 inch canvas because I have approximately 12 ounces of paint left and that's just about perfect for this size canvas. So that's why I picked it. And if we run out of this leftover paint, I have uh, my mixed up bottles of paint that we can, we can use to add to it if necessary. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, let's torch. Because I see bubbles. Come on, bubbles, go away. Okay, so we're going to do a comb over and then we're going to let it sit for a few minutes because the balloon kisses work if it's not so fresh that it keeps flowing. You won't have to sit through that. We will, we will do the comb swirls and then we will come back, okay? So let's try this. Oh, 
respiration. All right, stay tuned. We'll be back right after this commercial message. Okay, we're back. It's been a lot longer than I thought would be necessary, but that's okay. Paint's been sitting for a while. I put the ceiling fan on. Uh, I have my little balloon here, and I've, I haven't blown it up all the way so I can, I can get a good handle on it. It's not too, it's not too full. We're just going to start kissing the canvas with it and see what happens. I've never done this before. I've seen a lot of other people do it. And it looks like fun. Uh, we can also roll the balloon. Let's see if we do that. This isn't really impressing me a whole lot. I kind of like the swirls from the comb over better. You know, at this point, I'm kind of tempted to try a dip instead. Maybe ballooning isn't for me. Hold on a second. Let's just try a swipe and see what we get. I don't have any silicone in these paints. There's a little Floetrol and a little Liquitex pouring medium. I have no idea. Got some neat cells coming up there. I'm actually kind of digging this. The cells and the swirls and the kisses. I feel like I should put something somewhere. I like that. Let's see what about up here in the corner? Cool. This turned out way better than I was thinking it would in the middle of everything. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fix my corners and my edges and then we will go in for a close-up. Lower right-hand corner. 
up the right hand side. Upper right hand corner. Across the top. Got some lacing there. Upper left corner. Down the left side. To the lower left corner and along the bottom. And back to the lower right corner. And get the whole thing in shot here and focused. There we go. I really like how this turned out. It's it's abstract, I'll give you that. And, and I'm not always crazy about abstract art, even though I know fluid art and abstract art are kissing cousins at least. Uh, but I think this turned out pretty with all the cells and some lacing and the swirls and the, the streaks from the swipe. I think all of that together makes it very colorful and very pretty. So thanks everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.